Hi, I'm James, and today we are working on a MacBook Air early 2020 model, which is one of the last of the Intel range of MacBook Airs. And to start with, we are using a 1.2mm pentalobe screwdriver bit, and we are working our way around and removing all the screws from the base of the laptop. Uh, the four at the back here are a longer length, and then the other six are all shorter. So with the last of the screws coming out now, and all that we have to do following this is to remove the base of the laptop. And this is actually surprisingly easy on these Air models. Just uh, get your fingers to the back of the base and lift it up and it will come away quite easily. Our next job here is to peel back this bit of tape and then to gently push out the battery connector. When working purely on the speakers here, this isn't 100% necessary, it's um, even if you disconnect them with the machine on, it wouldn't necessarily cause damage. But when working on a system, it's always just a good precaution to do this. So we're just using the end of the pry tool here and to just pull the cable clear, unfortunately a bit blocked at view there. And then our next bit is just to use the tip of the pry tool to get in underneath the cable just below the uh, base of the socket. This doesn't push in, instead they lift up. Our next job then is to use a T4 Torx screwdriver to remove the two screws that hold in the speakers, uh, one on each side. And these are not the only fixing. There is also adhesive strips, which we can see overlapped to the bottom of the speaker. Now these um, are a pull to release tab, but what we will see here is we begin pulling and as anyone who's done an iPhone battery in the past will find, you begin pulling, you're very gentle trying to release it without breaking the tab and it snaps. Fortunately, this uh, isn't actually too strong and as we are going to remove the speaker anyway to replace it, simply push the pry tool in under the bottom corner of the speaker. It's a little hard to see here just because the camera view is a bit obstructed, but you want to push in on that bottom corner being careful not to compress on the battery and then just lever, so I pushed in the pry tool a bit and then lever up to remove it. We can then peel away the adhesive that didn't pull clear in the first place. Very similar to the iPhone battery adhesives, but with a slightly different tab on the end of it. And they are very prone to breaking as you can't pull them perfectly flat. Going to the other side, and again, we try the adhesive. And as we pull this through, we find once again, this one gets so far, and then again, breaks. Now it's a little clearer here to see, uh, coming in with the pry tool, and again we are just going to get underneath the speaker, and this time we can just quickly pop the speaker up. Like so. Once again, we need to just peel off any additional adhesive. And we are now ready to start prepping our replacement speakers. So here we can see we're just using a double-sided tape on the bottom of the speakers and on each side. I've used two pieces on each. Obviously this doesn't have the pull to release, but to be honest, my experience with that has been it might as not well be there anyway. So we are just going to use a thin uh, adhesive tape here, removing the coating from the back of this. And what you want to do is when you position the replacements, you want to make sure, first of all, you're using the right speaker as they are sided, and you want to make sure that screw hole is lined up. Uh, the little base fitting there helps with the alignment, so it's not too hard to do. And same on the other side removing the covers from the tape and slotting the speakers into position. 
With that done, we can then return the two screws. One on each side. Refix the speaker cables just by pressing them down into the socket. Make sure that we have, and again, a little tricky to see here, but just slide straight in to refit the battery. Make sure that is firmly inserted and repositioning the tape. Then we want to take our back panel, position it on the back of the machine, and returning to our 1.2 mil pentalobe screw driver bit, uh, reposition and refit the base screws. So actually for a modern MacBook, this is a fairly simple job. You do have that adhesive, which can be a bit tricky to release, but with a little bit of care and a plastic pry tool, you can get those out without any damage, even if the tab doesn't pull out cleanly. I hope you found this video helpful. Do let me know in the comments below if you have, um, and hit like if it has helped you repair your system. Thanks for watching.